My name is Michael Harper and I'm a tennis coach here at the USTA. Developing, tracking and moving skills are essential for new players to the game. Maddie and I are here to show you four activities to help build this skill. So let's get started. First up, we've got hopscotch. This activity helps the kids with balance, agility and coordination. Okay, Maddie, you ready? Let me have you put your racket down over there. Excellent, come on, meet me back here. First thing we're gonna do is wherever you see two lines, you're gonna go on two feet, and whenever you see one, you're gonna go on one feet, okay? After you get all the way through, run, touch the net, and then jog back to me. Deal? All right, ready, set, go. Let's see what you got. Oh, almost, is that last one on one or a two? Is that last one on one or a two? What do you think? A one, let's try it one more time, ready? And make sure, so here's the thing. If you get too far over like this, you're not gonna be able to control yourself, yeah? All right, so back up to the second white line back there, your baseline, and let's try it again. Ready, go! Boom, 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 one, good! Yes, touch the net, touch the net, touch the net, good. And back, 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 back. That was so easy, okay. This time we're gonna add in the bean bag, okay? And the way this is gonna work is you're gonna toss the bean bag wherever you want. Wherever it lands though, if you're close to it on one foot, you've gotta stop, bend down with one foot and pick it up. If you're on two feet, you've gotta just stop with two feet and pick it up. Deal? Ready? Here we go. Toss it. Oh, that's a one footer, let's go! Boom, 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 get it? Oh, oh, good job, good save. Touch the net, touch the net, touch the net. All right, so that was hopscotch. That activity is really important to have to help the kids work on balance and coordinating their entire body. Efficient movement on the tennis court is absolutely paramount. This next activity we call Caterpillar. All right, you ready, Maddie? Okay, you're gonna start in the alley for me there. All right, now, I'm gonna take all of these balls, all right, and I'm gonna roll them one at a time, and you have to move side to side in order to let them roll between your legs. Deal? Let's get in our good athletic stance. Ready, go. Yeah, let's go, moving your feet, moving your feet. You ready? <laughs> look at you, you look ready. Ready, go, go, get over there, get over there. Go, 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 get over there, get over there, get over there. Go, go, get over there, get over there. Okay, now, I love how you're moving. You're side shuffling everywhere, right? But here's a trick, okay? You don't have to side shuffle the whole time. You can run and then get into the position. Does that make sense? All right, let's try it again, ready? Good athletic position, moving your feet, moving your feet. If it's a short distance, go ahead and shuffle. But if you have to run way over there, what are you gonna do? Yeah, and then you're gonna get into the athletic position at the end. Deal? Okay, ready? Let's go. Boom. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm seeing. Good, go, get there, get back. What are you waiting over there for? Good, recover, 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 recover. Good, go, go, are you gonna get there? Are you gonna get there, are you gonna get there? Yes, I like it. That was Caterpillar. That really works on lateral movement for the kids and helping them to change directions while stopping on balance. Our next activity is gonna be called Mousetrap. Now that you're such an expert mover, we're gonna work on your tracking. All right, here's how this is gonna work. Just like you were just moving in our last activity, just like that, right? But now, instead of letting it go between your legs, okay, you are gonna, why am I even here? Right, yes, you're gonna trap it, okay? All right, it's okay, ready? Feet moving, remember, you're a rock star, okay. Ready, yeah, I like it, go, 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 go. Good, good, go, kick it out of the way. After you trap it, kick it. Say, get out of my house, go. Go, 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 go. Trap it, good, kick it. Yo, oh, what was that kick? Oh, did I get one? Okay, so now look, here, here's what we're gonna do. This time, right, when you trap it, okay, I just want you to step across like this when you trap it. You see my feet? Can you get your feet into that position? Let me see, yes. Like a lunge. Like a, what? Yes, like a lunge, right? <laughs> Same thing here. Trap this way, okay, and trap that way. Deal? Let's go, 30 seconds, Maddie. You are such a rock star. Let's go, feet moving, ready? Let me see, left leg forward, go, 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 step. Yes, perfect, good. So that one we call mousetrap, and it really begins to work on the tracking in addition to the movement for the kids. And the better they get, the better we're able to incorporate some sneaky advanced techniques like their footwork and their stances without them even knowing. This next activity is gonna require you parents to get a little silly. It's called photo shoot, and we're gonna build on the moving and the tracking skills that we just worked on through the last few activities. All right, Maddie, so here's how this works. I'm gonna to toss a ball to you, and you're gonna use all those same skills that you were just working on, okay? Like the lunge, and the lateral movement, and the wide base, and all of those things, right? When you catch the ball this time, you're gonna catch it with two hands in the lunge position. Switch those legs on that side, switch. Yep. Good, now, whenever you catch it and you do it successfully, I am going to be your professional photographer because you're such a star. Deal? And I'm gonna give you a photo shoot. Your job is to gain as many photo, earn as many photo shoots as you can. Are you ready? I can't tell, because your feet aren't moving. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Which way? That way. Whoa! Oh my God! It's ready! All right, parents. So, like I said, a little bit silly, but a lot of fun. That one is going to get the kids in position to hit the ball. Remember, it doesn't matter how well you strike the ball if you can't find it or you can't get there. Tennis is a game of sending and receiving, and developing these skills is crucial, especially at the beginner level. Jordan and I are here to show you some activities to help build these skills. So let's get started. Now we're gonna to begin to work on some sending and receiving skills, okay? The first activity we're going to do is called side shuffle catch. All right, so for this one, athletic development skill, you don't need your racket yet. Can I get you to put it down right over here and then we'll pick it up a little bit later. Okay, here we go. I need you to stand on that white line, all right? Right in front of me, right in front of me, right in front of me, all right? And you're gonna have a, uh, a wide base, like a mint soccer ball base. Yeah, like that, right? Okay, now I'm gonna bounce the ball to you. First, I want you to just follow me down and follow me back, side shuffle, ready? And you're just gonna copy what I do. Ready, side shuffle. Oh, I have your attention, huh? Good job, what about that? What about that, what about that? Okay, good job. Okay, now we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna bounce the ball back and forth, deal? Okay, let me just bounce it again, catch it. Yes, good, now bounce it back to me, good, ready? Bounce it, we're just working on your ability to send, receive, and coordinate the movement while you're doing that with your hands. Good job, try to stay on your toes with the side shuffle. Good, good job, good job, eyes on me. Try not to look down so much, good job, good. We're gonna do one more, one more version of this, and this time the ball's not gonna bounce, to see how we can do, okay? Oh, we're ready? just throwing it? Now we're just gonna toss it, ready? Go, and catch, good, good, toss it back, woo! And catch, good, good, good. Yes, good job. And uh, 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 let's go. Uh, ready? Uh, good. Stay on balance. Stay on balance. Good. And last one. You are such a rock star. Good job. That was side shuffle catch. You see, we did a few variations one without a ball, one with the ball bouncing, and then one catching the ball out of the air. This tends to work on the coordination of sending and receiving while moving, which is really important for their tennis development. So the next thing we're gonna do are called tap-ups. Now these are absolutely essential to getting the kids familiar with the racket. But one of the things that we're gonna include is movement. Are you ready? Yeah. So here's what it's gonna do. I'm gonna demo it and then I want you to do the same thing. Here, I want you to toss it into a bounce and I just want you to trap it on top of your racket like that. And we're gonna check your legs, okay? So toss, stand up straight, good. Toss it, you toss it. Toss it, let it bounce and trap. Good legs, good legs, good legs, you're a rock star. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move now to toss, to tapping each time. So we're gonna bounce, tap, bounce, and then we're gonna trap and check our balance. Let's see it. Toss, bounce, tap, bounce, trap. <laughs> what, what? You're so good, you're so good. Okay, now no more trapping. Let's see if you can just do it. Boom, and be balanced every time you tap like that. And then keep the feet moving in between, go. Balance, balance, where's my legs? Where's my legs, good, go, here, 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 go. Bounce it, let it bounce, let it bounce. Balance, good, ball, good, go, balance, good. Come in, balance, balance, ba up, 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 boom. Good, okay. Those were tap ups. They're really essential to getting the kid to understand how the racket works within their hand and using it while moving. All right, so now we're gonna do tap ups to a target. Now that she understands how to get on balance when she's making contact with the ball, now we're gonna try to get her to control where the ball goes a little bit more. You ready, Jordan? Yes. Okay, you're gonna try to get the ball in the X, right? Anywhere in the square is good. It's like a bullseye, right? So on a bullseye, you have a big target and then you have a little target in the middle, right? So you're gonna move like this and we're still moving our feet, boom. Right, and you're gonna try to get it to hit. That's a score, that's a score. Can I get a bullseye? Oh! Almost, you're gonna have to get the bullseye for me. You think you can do it? Okay, now, one thing I want you to repeat after me. Say, I high. I high. When you, when you tap the ball up, I want it to only go I high, right? Let's try it, okay? Okay, let's try it together. I high, go. Good, good, I'll take it. Go, 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 go again, good, good. Try to get it back over to the target. Good, get it back to the target. Oh, I got you, I got you, I'm gonna help. Go, go get it, go get it. Balance, remember, be on balance when you hit. Go, balance. Good, come closer, good. Okay, so tap ups to target. You guys can feel free to spend as much time on that as you want because what you're really trying to do is help the kid understand how to get on balance when making contact with the ball and direct it to a target. We're gonna do an activity called trap, up, back, or stay. And what this does is it helps the kid begin to determine the depth perception, whether they need to move up, 
to get to a ball, move back, or if they can stay where they are and just move side to side. Again, we're working on tracking so that we can be in position to send and receive. Here's how this works, all right? I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna toss you a ball. When I toss it to you, your job is to trap it between the strings and the racket, but, yes, right. but what do I want your legs to look like? Lunge. You're the best, right? Okay, now, here's what you have to do though. If you have to move up, I want you to say up, and then you're gonna move up and trap the ball. If you have to move back, I want you to move back, and I want you to say back and move back. If you can stay where you are, I just want you, no sideways, I just want you to say stay. Deal? Ready? Uh, what's this one, go. Good job, up. And look at the balance there, I love it. Here we go, thank you. Okay, ready? <clears throat> what's this one? Back. Stay, did you move back or did you kind of just stay and just move side? Good, okay, and here we go. Ready, this one, come back to the middle for me. Yes, that's so good. Great job, great job. So that was trap, up, back, or stay. Depth perception is one of the last things to develop naturally, so it's something we really wanna be conscious about developing in the younger ages. For more tips and ways to improve your tennis game, visit netgeneration.com.